good news see what finally happens to the notorious fulani warlord wakil after seriki fulani who was asked to leave a few weeks ago and a guy got up again identified as wakil who threatens to kill the farmers if they step on his farmland in fact wakil went to establish what he called a no crossing zone the information that comes to us that wakil has finally run in a way that shows it was just an empty barrel making the loudest noise the vice president of the state of oyo the upper in council made it known that wakil has finally escaped as farmers can now go back to their daily activities and i think that on sunday Igbo should be given credit for this. What is your take on this, my viewers? Thank you for listening to this news. In fact, Sunday Igbo is the reason for this Fulani headsman crisis in Nigeria as a whole, not just in Southwest. So if they are giving him credit, it should be a national credit because the young man has really worked for the country. This is someone who people call a talk, but he has done something that is more than a talk. What he has done, I don't think any man could be able to do it. Even Mazinam the Kano gave him a credit, appreciated him. Only those who are envy, envious of him and greedy, and self-centered and jealous that did that refused to give him an accolade personally right from this channel i am giving you an accolade because you deserve it you have really worked for it you have worked for it this is what we call activists people that will stand and face the challenge when the time comes people that will not be shaken people that will face it no matter what no matter the challenge, no matter the difficulty, they will face it, and that is what we have just we are we are just seeing now. You get it. So, um, Sunday Igbo, I will say a very big kudos to you because you have really worked, work, worked, work, worked it out. He started it from the southwest, from southwest it escalated to southeast, from southeast it escalated to south south, just like that, like that, like that. So, what are we saying? And what are we saying? Eh? So, my viewers, I appreciate Sunday Ego because, because he has really, really uh, fought for the people of Oyo, not just for Oyo, but for Nigerian as a whole. Even while the, uh, our, our leaders, our governors were pointing fingers at him, planning. Um, Planning his arrest, he never gave up. He still stood on his ground. He faced the battle. He faced the challenge. He never gave up. Instead, he was pushing forward. Oh my God. This man, to me, is a hero. He's a hero. If it were some other persons, they would have run away. They would have given up with the fight. But with Sunday Igbo, he never gave up. He stood on his ground. Even while Shay Makinde, the governor, was uh, was threatening fire and ice, Sunday Igbo was still very much strong and fit if to face the, the battle. He even said it that nobody can kill him except the most high God. He believed in himself. He fought for the people. Even when people were calling him names, he never gave up. He still stood strong and firm. That is who we call a leader. That is what we call a leader. He, 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 he led the crowd. He led the move. He never gave up. He started from Oyo, from Oyo to, uh, to, to, to Ondo, from Ondo to Ekiti, from Ekiti to Ogun, from Ogun. Now he's extending to Kwara. Can you imagine? This guy is working, please. This guy is working. He is the reason why this Fulanese are no longer in the southwest he is a reason for the disappearance of 
most of the Fulanese out of Southwest and in the other places. He is the one that gave the voice to other regions to chase the Fulanese away. When other regions saw what Sunday Igbo did in the Southwest, they too saw reason why these Fulanese should not stay in their environment, in their region. So they started chasing them away. When um, Edo saw it, they were, they, were, they were moved, so they decided to chase them away. When uh, South East saw it, they were moved, they decided to chase them away. In fact, he is the beginner, the beginner of the battle. And I give him a sound accolade for that. A sound accolade for that. Because he has really proven himself. He has really shown it that, yes, he is a true warlord. Okay, look at the one that called himself a notorious Fulani warlord that was proving difficult and saying, no way, he's going nowhere. He's not going to run, this and that. So why did he disappear now? He has run away. He has run away. He has left. I thought he was proving to be strong and mighty. That was what he was proving. <laughs> My dear viewers, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. You see these Fulani headsmen, they are not people that one should, should, should look with any sympathetic face. Because if you do, you will be the one to regret it. You will be the one to regret it. Can't you see what they are doing to the people? Can't you see? Can't you see it? They don't deserve any sympathy. They don't deserve any sympathy. If you sympathize with them, you will be doomed. You will be doomed. So it's better you don't sympathize with them. You do away with them. You do away with them. You do to them what you want to do to them. So I am among those who are very very appreciateful for the for for the for the for the for the fight that Sunday Igbo has really fought for the people. He deserves that accolade. He deserves it not just from the southwest but from Nigeria as a whole because the fight he fought is a is a national fight and not um a, a regional fight. It's a national fight. So, my viewers, this is how I feel. Oh, I don't know of you. Okay, all right? So, um, meanwhile, deem it fit to come in and air your own um, opinion concerning this matter. I don't know how you feel. Whatever it is, deem it fit to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.